See, white folks want to believe that they're indigenous to the planet, but they're not. They've only been here maybe like six, seven thousand years. They are not from here. We are the original people on the planet. Now, this white man says that he saw a spaceship. And the people that came on the ship was totally black. The woman said they were the brown skin. She said no. He said no. They were totally black. This is an old video and they keep they keep blocking it. But anyway, I got it here now to show you guys that we are the original. We're not a copy. We're not a copy. We are the original. And think about the copy. Anytime you anytime you take a copy and make a copy, a copy, a copy, it gets light and light. Remember back in the days when we take a copy from the um VHS? And we make a copy, get later, later, blur, blur, blur. Now, we the original. We don't get blur. We stay as we are original. Anyway, folks, check this out. Subscribe, leave a comment, thumbs up, share the videos. I love you guys now. Hang on, folks. People are talking about this, and this stuff is about to be revealed very shortly. And it's going to change everything. It's going to change everything. Another thing that I'm really fascinated by is Obama winning the election simply because... There's only one type of human being on Earth that doesn't appear to have been seeded here by extraterrestrial races. In other words, most of the human beings on this planet are not local. The white person did not exist on Earth prior to about 10, 11,000 years ago. That's when we started to have the first interbreeding occurring that led to blue-eyed, white-skinned people. Science will say that uh, environment and climate is what did this over you know, thousands and thousands of years. Do you accept that at all? I guess not. You can't, you can't explain why climate, for example, would lead to the physiological differences such that Asian people have very different looking upper eyelids and the whole structure of the skull is, is different in shape. And you have uh, African people that have much larger noses, much larger lips. Uh, the, you know, I mean, the conventional explanation is that um, White people's noses are taller because it's cold weather and they cool the air down on the way in. Uh -huh. Black people's noses are flatter because the air is hotter and, and they don't need to cool it down. That's very, very hypothetical. There's no real science to back that up. It's just a supposition. So are you not positing the idea that they... Those Check this part of family. You know, beings... Check it out. Are, Hang on. You know, maybe like us. Yeah, Here we go. Only go along with environment images. And if you want to know about people kind of thing, um, there is the ship that picked up the Voyager uh, capsule um, at the Alameda. Uh, you send a ship, but pick out another ship at the Navy, Navy Yard. You got a picture there. I think, I think it's, uh, That's the ship. But anyway, there is one image there. That shows black people getting off. It shows black people getting off. The shit. So people with dark skin getting off. Not dark, black. He black said, skin. And he said, people with dark skin. He said, no. Black people getting off. Yes. Very tall. Yeah. How tall? Do you know? Well, they got out the, uh, the doorway. I don't know how high that is, but. Yeah. Well, what? Say, say, seven, seven feet would be. Probably Seven feet tall. Now you just heard it from a scientist who worked at NASA. You just heard it. Seven foot at least. That's a that's a midget when you talk about these particular beings. The, the real height is nine plus eight and a half to nine to twelve feet tall. Master geneticist. So you can imagine what their bodies look like. You can imagine how powerful they are. They were master geneticists, and they were the ones who originally upgraded human beings. These are the individuals where it says, let us make man in our image and after our likeness. So not only does the original man look like these entities or gods, but they act like them as well. 
Just like your mama says, you know what, you just like your father. Say absolutely thank you for the compliment. Thank you for the compliment. Our fathers, our divine fathers and mothers come from the stars. Let me go ahead and go in, because a lot of people are talking about this, and this stuff is about to be revealed very shortly, and it's going to change everything. It's going to change everything. So you have many different life forms in this particular galaxy. You have insectoids. You have reptoids. You have everything you can put. Anything that can exist does exist. Process that up. Uh, crystals, certain minerals such as rubies. This is where the Arbonne energy comes from. We talk about the rock power generators with the, with the crystals, copper. All of these things will be in mind on Earth, on the moon, and on Mars. You can research more about that. Earth, the moon, and Mars. They've been finding, you know, cranes on the moon. They're finding things that look like a refinery on the moon. They're finding faces. African looking faces on Mars. They just found they just found pyramids bigger than Giza off the coast of under the water near Bermuda. So you have that, you have all the mounds being in here. So it's a whole older world of advanced technology that existed way before all of this. Not only are they up to 12 feet tall, they have woolly hair, okay, just like they described Jesus, having hair like lamb's wool. And uh, to be even more precise, that vision that John had in the book of Revelation was a vision of Melchizedek. That was the Ancient of Days. But it's all one and the same because uh, uh, Senenda, also known as Yeshua, or quote-unquote Jesus, uh, was after the order of the King of Peace, who is Melchizedek. So Willie had very large arm and eyes, very muscular, very vol voluptuous, very beautiful and, and, and uh, powerful beings. Uh, so they were mining, people started to get upset with all of the hard work. People were, were not interested in doing that. So what happened, people would break off and just run off and live on a particular planet. It came to pass that they realized that there were two different species developing on the planet at the time. You had those called the Meldex who were in the sea. And this is where you get the idea of the green uh, reptoid type of uh, being with webbed fingers and things of this nature. And you had the uh, Lulu Amalu, which is the primitive ones, the black-headed people, Lulu Amalu. And these were the original mammalian hominid species on this particular planet. Very closely similar to the Homo erectus that was developing on this planet. Homo erectus, erect, meaning Means straight up, upright. Straight Not upright. only did they have the exterior technology, such as what we have today, we have a lot of exterior technology, they had inner technology, okay? Inner technology is the ability to do things without telepathy. Telepathy. Well, I don't have to call you on the phone. I contact you by way of the mind. I don't need to get on the train or have a car because I know how to teleportation. Teleportation. In nature, or to uh, not even have to go there physically. And this is called remote viewing. This is something that yeah. humans could do. You can train yourself to do this as well. All of these things are now coming to pass. It's all being revealed. And the reason why I say it's all being revealed because re revelation happens in the mind. And a lot of people, they won't accept it until they see someone that they've been programmed, according to this matrix, according to society, say it. And then they come to Nazir Ra and he said, you know what, it's true. NASA just said it. This guy, he was, he used to work for NASA and he said that he saw seven foot black people come out of a spaceship. So you're right. <laughs> it's, it's, it's interesting. But it's all to be expected. Okay, family. Now you know. Subscribe. Like. Thumbs up. Leave a comment. I'm out of here. Peace out. Lots of love, folks. Lots of love. Lots of love. Hey, as you all know, they listen to their cell phone and I'm on to you. My video gets stopped suddenly, just like that. The recording gets stopped suddenly. So, you know, they always listen to, they always listen to you and monitor whatever you're doing, but that's fine. That's fine because their time is up. Their time is up. Whatever the fuck they're trying to do is not going to work. Their time is up. It's a done deal for them. I'm already peace out. Subscribe, share, like, comment. I'm already peace out. Lots of love, folks. Lots of love.
What's up, family? Just another beautiful day. Loving every minute of it. Don't forget that the 17th of September is a super moon. So do your rituals. Get your sea water. Get your um, sea salt baths. And do your rituals. Um, ask for knowledge, wisdom, understanding, clarity, peace of mind, love, laughter, joy, happiness, content, and gratitude. Be loving and kind. Keep your intentions clear because whatever you think on, you're going to manifest faster now because we're going to super moon. That's on September 17th. Now, the clip I'm going to put here is the reason why I don't vote because, like I said before, presidents are not elected, they are appointed, and they know exactly who are going to be president before you do. So, voting doesn't really count. And I'm not the only one thinking so. This guy knows he's thinking the same way I'm thinking. So let's go to show that people are waking up and realizing that your vote don't really count. Hang on, folks. Check this out. Scandal stuff? Oh, my goodness. You want to know who it is? It's Kevin Spacey. That's right. He's related to all the presidents. Not excluding any of them. All 46. Joe Biden's famous king page is finally up. And I'll show you. He's only related to three notable people. And there you have it. Three people. A lady who was a survivor from the Titanic, Christopher Rouse, and Kevin Spacey. It's not interesting that he would be charged with certain things. And he happens to have that royal line, which is what connects him to all the... It's so crazy to think that all the presidents could be related to one another. If that is indeed true, then me not ever voting... It doesn't make me upset at all. Like, I'm not mad because my idea since I was a kid around voting was that it was all a design that was orchestrated by the powers that be. So us voting was absolutely unnecessary. It didn't do anything to sway which direction a vote would actually go because they already had in mind or they already had in motion who they were going to choose to be the next president. Like, that was my conspiracy theory. And you know what? I'm sticking to it. Be mad at me if you want. We know our, we're different from the presidential. We're very discreet, reptilian, cold-blooded. These are the races we have to win. Kate's glamour with an unusual observation about Bouvet Island, yes, yeah? home of the blob and fictional location of Alien vs. Predator. Do you remember on June 29th when this sat and feel kind of chilling Saturday morning and there's been an earthquake on Bouvet Island? Let's take a look. I shared how it was a 5.6 earthquake at the somewhat mysterious depth of 10 kilometers. I went on to tell you how Bouvet Island has rare earth elements and an EU anomaly, which is europium used for nuclear reactors and lasers. This led me to tell you how on Skinwalker Ranch they use lasers to attract UAPs. And then I explained how at the South Pole Research Station they use the same laser, but it's for weather testing. Well, one of you noticed this mm -hmm. measurements. Did you see that? Let's look again. But it's for weather testing and measurements and measurements. Did Bouvet Island just wink? I even wrote to the manufacturer of my map and he said there's no way that should happen, especially given that all the other earthquakes that share the same layer remain visible. I mean, I suppose I feel flattered. But it's not on you guys. It's 2,000 feet below. I remember this. Wait, no? Lost the air. Never mind. Roswell, 1947. What happened? Roswell, 1947, there was a UAP that crashed. In fact, there were two UAP that crashed, and uh, one flew away while the other one did not, and it was recovered by the U.S. government. Allegations of a legacy UAP retrieval and reverse engineering program. The U.S. government has had in the past and continues to have a very deep interest in UAP to include the potential and possibilities of recovering crashed UAP and reverse engineering them. We've been recovering spacecraft, alien spacecraft. 
The United States has been involved in the recovery of objects, vehicles of unknown origin that are neither from our country or any other foreign country that we're aware of. Alien bodies, biologics. We as a nation have been interested in not only the vehicles themselves, but the occupants of these vehicles to include biological specimens. Aliens. He is not answering the questions. Human intelligences are real and they have been engaging with humanity. Ross, we're not alone. We are not alone in this universe and it is a simple fact. And the US government has been aware of that fact now for decades. It's just like with the movie E.T. If something of unknown origins hit our world, oh yeah, best believe the government is going to be all over that. Oh they yeah. run and conduct all type of experiments oh, to do yeah. some reverse engineering if they can. Missing oh. after posting this. Ross, we're not alone. We are not alone in this universe, and it is a simple fact. And the U.S. government has been aware of that fact now for decades. This man went missing after posting this. Nobody is.